Hello everyone, today I'm going to be filming the Jurassic Park book tag and I was tagged to do this by Steve over at The Lawn Gnome, I will link his channel in the description down below. So this tag is literally what it says on the tin, all of these questions are based around characters and different dinosaurs from the Jurassic Park film, so I'm just going to get right on into it. The first question is simply, what is my favourite dinosaur? And I actually have a friend here, and I, so therefore I have to say that my favourite favourite dinosaur is of course the Brontosaurus. Um, this is Bronte, he is a gorgeous, gorgeous coloured um, Brontosaurus and I do actually really love Brontosauruses because they're really kind of docile and gentle as far as dinosaurs go um, and he is super, super cute. So yeah, I'm going to say a Brontosaurus. Um, I do actually really like Velociraptors as well, specifically since I've seen Jurassic World, the recent film with Chris Pratt in. I love his little army of raptors in that film. So yeah, but I really do like all um, dinosaur species. I just find them really, really fascinating. The next question is based on Alan Grant and the question is, what is a character who you think would survive Jurassic Park? And for that, I have to say Selina from the Throne of Glass series because she is so badass. She has survived so much already. So much has been thrown in her path that you would think would destroy her, but actually she's just got stronger and stronger. So I think she could definitely take on an army of hungry, vicious dinosaurs. Definitely she would be right there up there with the survivors. The next question is based on Ellie Sattler and the question is a character who is willing to risk their life in order to save others and for this I'm going to say Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games because she is just so fearless, so selfless, she will do whatever it takes to stand up for what she believes in, to see justice being brought about, um, so yeah I definitely think that she would um, throw herself in the path of any angry dinosaur who is trying to eat someone that she really really loves. The next question is based on Ian Malcolm and the question is a book where you could easily predict the ending and for this I'm going to say Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I really really loved this book but as is normally the case with YA contemporary romances I can normally predict the ending and this one was no different. I will just say though that I didn't actually see the ending of the last book in this little companion series so the series as a whole I didn't predict the ending but this individual book I certainly did predict it and that's okay because I still really liked this as the kind of fun little summer read that it was so yeah. The next question is based on the character Dennis Nedry and the question is a character who is willing to put others in danger for their own benefit and for this I can think of no one better than Lord Voldemort himself because he just kind of throws people into the path of danger for his own gain. I'm talking about Draco Malfoy, most specifically, but also all of his Death Eaters. You know, they are fighting purely for him to gain the a, a kind of life that he had before. So, yeah, he is definitely pure evil and certainly someone who is willing to throw anyone else's life in front of their own. The next question is based on the Brachiosaurus and the question is a book that took you a long time to finish and for this I'm going to say Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. The first time I read this I was in my early teens, I think I was about 12 or 13 when this came out and I just wasn't into reading at the time and as this is the biggest, chunkiest Harry Potter book it took me literally a few months to read and it's, it's not that it put me in a reading slump because I have read it several times since then and really enjoyed it and got through it a lot quicker. I just think that the time of my life that it came out, I just wasn't really interested in reading, unfortunately. Um, and it is actually still my least favourite Harry Potter book, but I do still love it, obviously, because it's a Harry Potter book. So um, yeah, but it did take me a long time to read the first time I read it. The next question is based on the T-Rex, a book that you found intimidating but ended up loving and for this of course I have to say It's by Stephen King. This is a book that I um, recently finished and of course I was intimidated by this ginormous size. It's almost for 1400 pages um, but it was so 
good. It didn't drag at all. The characters were amazing. Um, I was just totally sucked into the action and it was just so, so good. I gave it five stars and it's certainly now one of my favourite Stephen King books. So yeah, really, really happy that I was brave enough that I sought up the courage and the motivation to plough through it because it was just absolutely incredible. The next question is based on the Velociraptor and the question is what is a fast paced book and for this I'm going to say Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott. I just remember this being really exciting, um, I didn't have time to get bored. This is actually a duology and I do feel the same about both of the books in this duology so if you haven't picked it up I really recommend it. It's um, kind of an, an YA action adventure about a group of people who are in a Hunger Games type event to win a cure for their terminally ill loved one and they are helped through this um, uh, kind of event by um with kind of pokemon style animal companions and it's really really cool very very unique and as i said really really fast paced the next question is based on the pterodactyl and the question is a book that flew you to another world and for that i'm gonna say the tearling trilogy by erica johansson um this fantasy is so unique in terms of it teaches you a little bit of a life lesson about why a utopia would never work for us as humans because the human condition, us as humans, would not be able to make a utopia work because we are just too complex, we have too much um, kind of negativity and darkness going on that we would basically turn it into a form of a dystopia and it was just really really interesting to read about that kind of thing in the form of a fantasy book so yeah this trilogy really does take you to that other place and it just kind of teaches you about why those kinds of things would never actually work with us as humans the way we are. And the last question is the Triceratops and the question is, it's not really a question, but it just says to tag three people. Now I don't normally tag other people after I've done a tag, but because this is a question I am going to tag three people. So I'm going to tag Cherry at Cherry Walker, Sophie at Sophie Elaine and Jenna at just a little bit random. I will link their channels in the description down below and I will also let them know on um, Twitter that I have tagged them. But if you want to do this tag then please please feel free to. Um, so that is it for the Jurassic Park book tag. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys want to do it, then obviously feel free to. I will leave all of my social media in the description down below. I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye bye.